Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Nigel and today I'm going to be giving you guys a really quick tutorial on how I do some basic color grading inside of Adobe Premiere. Today we're just going to be doing some color grading on some Canon EOS M footage. Uh, it was shot in Technicolor Cine style, so it has a relatively flat image. So I'm going to show you guys how I do some simple grading and add that faded film look to it that I use in a lot of my videos like State 33 and my wedding video reel. And we're also going to be adding some crop marks and I'm going to be showing you guys how I sharpen my videos too because usually Canon EOS M footage needs a little bit of sharpening. So yeah, we're going to do some sharpening and then I'm going to show you guys how I add the 235 to 1 crop marks for the simulated widescreen effect. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to make this as quick and easy to follow as I possibly can. So hopefully you guys can stick with me. So what we're going to do is just take the clip that we're going to be color grading and just drag it onto our timeline. And after we got it onto our timeline, we are going to add an adjustment layer. And the way you do that is just by clicking on the bottom of the project screen and then just click adjustment layer. And then after you do that, it'll create a adjustment layer. Just click OK and it'll do it to the resolution and frame rate that you're already working in. Uh, you just want to stretch it to the length of your clip. And then we're going to go to effects, going to go to video effects, going to find adjust, and then levels. And then we're going to drag and drop levels onto our adjustment layer. Now on the levels tab, you can see that there is RGB black input, white input, black output, white output, and those are going to be basically your exposure adjustments. And then there's going to be an RGB gamma adjustment at the bottom, but I normally don't mess with that because that just basically overrides all of the exposure changes that you made in the uh, top four. Um, and then everything below those are going to be your individual uh, color values. So the R's are for reds, G for green, B for blue. And when you mess with each of those, you'll notice that you're taking away a color or you're adding a color. So that's how you're going to create the color like look for your video. In order to create the film look, I go to the black output level and then I bring up the blacks basically from the shadows. So when you bring up the exposure from the shadows, that creates the kind of underexposed film look and you don't want to go too crazy with it. But if you bring up the black output and then bring up the black input that will actually crush the blacks and then create that film effect after you get your exposure locked in uh, then you just kind of start to mess with each of your color values as far as you know actually grading it it all just kind of depends on what you want your end result to be this is a wedding video, so I definitely want my video to look a little bit warmer than it is right now. And so I am going to uh, take away some of the blues. I'm going to add more yellow and the reds, you know, like relatively at a, at a normal point. I might add a little bit more red. But overall, I'm just trying to make the image look a little bit more warm. So yeah, I mean, that isn't like a huge difference. It's not like the the craziest grade, but it still adds a lot of character to your footage. And if you go up to the uh, little FX button, you can see the before and the after. It's before and here is after. So yeah, uh, that's basically how I would grade my footage. And now what we're gonna do is add some crop marks. So now we got our CinemaScope 235 to 1 crop marks and all you really have to do is grab the crop marks and drag them on top of your footage. Now as you can see the, the framing of our shot is a little bit off and uh, that's really easy to fix. All you got to do is just go uh, click on the video file and then go to motion. And in motion you can see the position and the one on the right, the smaller number, the 540, that's going to be your vertical axis. So all you got to do is just adjust that and that will adjust your vertical position and then that's basically it. You can adjust your framing within the 235 to 1 crop ratio. And then to sharpen it, all I really do is I just use unsharp mask and it kind of really just depends on which footage you're using. For Canon EOS M footage, I'll sharpen it a little bit more. 
um, than I would for something like a Panasonic GH3 or a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. So for the Canon EOS M, I usually keep it around 50 to 55. So, but yeah, that is all I do to my Canon EOS M footage. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, it'd be great if you hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It means a lot. I'll be doing more uh, color grading tutorials and reviews as well. And just a bunch of other filmmaking related stuff here on this channel. So please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>